Let's uh, now turn to Buenos Aires. We've been showing the images live uh, from the Argentinian capital where people are in the streets uh, paying tribute uh, to their national hero. Uh, Declan McGarvey is our correspondent there. Declan, good evening to you. Um, where you are, we've seen the scenes on the streets. Um, I wouldn't say it was pandemonium, but certainly many people spontaneously uh, showing what they feel uh, and the sense of loss that they feel uh, over the death of Diego Maradona. Yes, a sizable crowd have been defying the local COVID lockdown restrictions to take to the streets of Buenos Aires, particularly in landmark areas in the capital city, but also at the football stadiums that Diego Maradona once graced, uh, particularly the Argentinos Junior Stadium, named in honour of Diego Maradona and when he first played, when he was just a young professional starting off. And of course, the Boca Junior Stadium, Argentina's biggest team and which, for which uh, Diego Maradona played uh, during two periods in his career. Now, there are scenes of outpouring of emotions at these stadiums. Um, you know, I've been seeing images of uh, middle-aged men in, in floods of tears hugging one another. Impromptu shrines have been set up outside these stadiums um, with uh, candles, uh, replica copies of the World Cup, uh, number 10 shirts um, with the, of the national team and Boca Juniors that Diego Maradona used to wear. And uh, murals on the walls of these stadiums of Diego Maradona, we're seeing people go up to these murals and touch the cheek of the, of the face of Diego Maradona with their hand. Um, it's an absolute outpouring of grief, almost of kind of religious um, uh, elements to it as well. Uh, Diego Maradona famously was known as El Dios in Argentina, the god. Uh, he transcended the game of football and um, much loved. And uh, there is a national mourning taking place here in Argentina. Uh, Declan, can you explain how uh, he had something that well went well beyond his footballing ability, which was phenomenal. But there was something about Diego Maradona, the man, which all Argentinians, it seems, identified with. Argentinians identified it with, with Diego Maradona. Um, look, this is a, a nation where a population of, of uh, around 40% of the population live below the poverty line, and Diego Maradona was one of those. Um, he was a boy from the slums who kicked a football around the tight, mud-strewn streets of the slums of Buenos Aires and made it good. Didn't make it good, he made it great. I mean, what a trajectory, what a journey from the slums of Buenos Aires to being the most famous and the most fetid footballer in the world, arguably the greatest ever. He was also a human figure. His frailties were very well known after retirement, falling into drug and alcohol addiction. Um, he was a man of the people and he was very, very, very much loved. And there are so many anecdotes to show about this. There are murals across Buenos Aires of Diego Maradona, uh, particularly in the shadows of the stadiums he once played at. Uh, there's one in the shadow of the Boca Juniors Stadium, for instance. It's an old mural. The paint is crumbling on it, but it shows Diego Maradona in 1986. Um, and without offending anyone's religious sensibilities or cultural sensibilities, um, it says the following, and it tends to sum up Diego Maradona in the hearts and minds of Argentinians. It says that he wasn't Christ. He wasn't Allah. He's not the uh, Prophet Muhammad. He's the uh, one and only of the Argentinian people, Diego Armando Maradona, known as El, Di El Dios fettered for his footballing abilities, but also his human frailties in the hearts and minds of Argentinians. It is a remarkable story, as you say, a remarkable trajectory, and clearly many people feeling uh, the sadness uh, now that Diego Maradona has uh, passed away. Uh, Declan, thank you very much indeed. I know 